Well, this is Gary in Pennsylvania. For years, uh, I used uh, a splitting mall to split my firewood for my stove in the house. I've been using firewood for oh, gee, the past 40 years or more. And then a couple, about 15 years ago, I got some really cross-grain cherry and ash and I, I broke down and I bought you know, a hydraulic log splitter, which is great. It's, uh, I really like it. I, I have it set up to run on charcoal gas so I can use charcoal to actually run the engine. But it's slow. Of course, it can get through these really gnarly, knotty pieces. But when I saw the kinetic log splitters, I thought, man, those are pretty neat. So being who I am, instead of buying one, I decided, well, just build one. So this is a kinetic log splitter. Basically, it's a rack and a pinion uh, flywheel, all driven by a gasoline engine. And I'll just show you some of the parts of it here. It starts off using a rack. And this is the rack here, and the pinion is located in there. And as the flywheel turns, that pinion turns, and then using this lever, uh, this pivots down and pushes down on the rack to engage the pinion, and then that pushes this uh, rack and this whole assembly forward much more rapidly than the hydraulic splitter. Now you can see uh, there's nothing fancy here. It's just I bought the I beam, bought the uh, their number 60 chain, bought the rack and the pinion, and of course the uh, the bearing flanges. Uh, but you, I mean, you can see that this is this piece is made out of an old uh, a floor jack that I used. Uh, these are the wheels off of it. It's important that when this is operating, that this line here between that pinion and the the pinion and this are all directly above each other. Um, I also have this set up as a so I can split a three foot long piece of log. Um, the rack will actually come out all this about that far and that's where it stops and then a spring actually pulls it back. I'll show you that on the other side. Um, the engine of course uh, drives this small pulley. The pulley then drives this belt which drives this larger uh, pulley to give, slow, slow down the speed a little bit. And then right there is a 75 pound flywheel. It used to be a, a clutch plate on a, uh, a bulldozer. And as that turns around, it then turns the pinion and run. Now this is, uh, I have it set up to run on wood gas, although I don't have my wood gasifier hooked up yet. So right now in this testing phase, I'm running on gasoline. So let me get it fired up here. I'm going to split some, uh, I have some three foot long chunks of uh, aspen there, which I use for making charcoal in my 55 gallon drum. And of course I have my stove wood, all this ash, which was killed by the emerald ash borer. Now th there are a few more things that need done on this. I, I found out I need to build a, a more of a tray right here because I'm, I'm dropping logs off the side. Um, Oh, here is the spring system. The, uh, the cable's attached at one end, goes around the pulley, and to a spring. And that retracts it. Now this is a little bit of a downhill slope. You're going to see when I run this thing, I'll be using my hand to slow this down so I don't bang, uh, bang up my uh, washers there. So let's get it fired up and I'll show you how it runs. I'm not going to talk while it's running because of the noise. But just take a look and see. Okay, it's up and running. And occasionally you'll see uh, it probably won't ram all the way through some logs. And when that happens, my lever pops up and the uh, pinion disengages from the rack. And then it goes back. 
So just watch for that. You'll hopefully most of them will split right through. 